Hey guys, what's going on? One more video for you um, tonight. Uh, basically, uh, this is a custom firmware video. Uh, well, in it, it's actually a cheat device video. Uh, this is called Dark Frost version 5. I'm not sure if you heard of it or anything like that, but this is a cheat device for games. So, you don't, you know, you can play the game and not cheat, but can at the same time. But the game won't detect that you are, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, so uh, I'm running a 6.60 Pro V10 custom firmware, and uh, this works for all 6.XX custom firmwares, by the way. So anything from 6.20 all the way up to 6.60 custom firmwares, this will work for. The file I'm going to have you download right here is the Dark Frost version 5 video. So my PSP right here, I'm just going to pop this into USB mode real quick for you all to see. I'm putting that in USB mode real quick. Uh, do that. Now I'm gonna go to my computer and open up my HDD on my PSP Go and uh, leave it at that real quick. All right, Dark Frost. So you can either right click and extract files or extract here, which just put it to your desktop. Or if you have an extraction program, double click on that and open it up. And uh, you're gonna see the Dark Frost version 5 folder. Double click and open that up. You're gonna see the install and the auto installer. Now, auto installer is basically just you're going to run and execute from your computer and it's going to install it automatically, but I would rather just do it the you know, basic way. So, let's go to the install folder. You're going to see the SE plugins folder, the PSP folder and the Dark Frost folder. If you open up the Dark Frost folder, you're going to see searches, screenshots, dumps, config, codes, all that fun stuff and the PRX Open up the PSP folder, not going to have anything in there. SE plugins folder, you're going to see the Night PR. Open that up and make sure you move your codes over to this folder. So, you don't want to put your codes in the SE plugins folder. So, anywho, here's the game text, and uh, you're going to see that this is already written for you. Um, so, this is what we're going to be doing in this video. So, first things first. Right. Let's go back to the main section of the folders here. So what we're going to do real quick is you're going to see me take this Dark Frost folder right here. And you're just going to simply copy that to the root of the uh, whatever you're using, whether it be your memory stick or uh, whether it be the um, HDD of the PSP Go. In my case, it's the HDD of the PSP Go, so I'm just going to copy it there. Um, so I'm just going to drag and copy that over to the root, um, just like that. Open up that Dark Frost folder, you're going to see all those folders and the PRX. Now what you need to do is open up your SE Plugins folder. If you don't have one, you can just create a new folder by clicking up here, or you can right click, oh not like that, right click on the empty space and select new folder and call it SE Plugins, all in uh, lowercase letters, just like that. Double click on that and open it up. Now in the extraction files, open up the SC plugins folder and you're going to see the night PR folder. What you're going to want to do is drag and drop and copy that folder into the SC plugins folder. Now the game text, you open that up and you're going to see this written ms0 colon slash dark frost slash dark frost dot prx. What I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to take, um, if you're using a memory stick. For this this is perfect the way it is you're going to copy all of this right here and i'm just going to hit Control c to copy that and you're going to want to go into the game text document that you have on your psp and i'm just going to hit Control v and paste it in there now i'm using the hdd on the psp go if you're using the internal memory of a psp go you're going to want to change this to ef0 that's what you're going to want to change it to and put a space and a one after it. Now, if you're using a memory stick, it's going to be ms0 colon slash uh, dark frost slash dark frost dot prx space one. But um, PSP Go, EF0. Anything else, if you're using a memory stick, it's going to be ms0. Okay? So now that we got that down, just exit and save the game text that you have in your SE plugins folder. I can exit that, and I'm just going to exit this. I'm going to bring this over here, exit that, and now I'm going to exit USB mode on the USB, 
and uh, I'm gonna reset my VSH really quick. Three, two, one, plugging it in, and here we go. So I'm gonna go to select now, and I'm gonna go to uh, my recovery menu. Go into the recovery menu, you're gonna go to plugins, and you're gonna go to the system storage if you store it on your system storage or memory stick if it's on a memory stick. Now, you're gonna scroll down until you find the uh, darkfrost.prx. So I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. And you should see it right there, darkfrost.prx for game. Make sure that's enabled. Now, how to access this when you're in the game, uh, accessing your cheat device or things like that. Um, Jesus Christ, how many fucking pages are in the recovery menu? Okay, uh, pretty sure it's just a code of um, buttons or whatever. Let me see. Um, root of the memory stick. The auto installer will not transfer the codes for you. You may also be like. Oh, okay. Never mind. It just activates the codes automatically. So, as long as you put the codes in the um, the Night PR folder and your SE plugins folder, they will automatically boot in the games that they are designed for based on the intel of this plugin. So, but that's how you install Dark Frost uh, for your cheat device. Um, and uh, you can get codes at play just you know you can search on Google uh, Dark Frost version 5 cheat codes for PSP with custom firmware or something like that so right comment subscribe this file will be available for download with a link underneath in the description below as well as a detailed description on how to install this correctly check out my website software reborn which uh, is where everything else is uh, on my channel for download and things like that and also follow me on Twitter because everything I do here is updated to a Twitter. You can check out my blog on the Google Google Blogger forms just in case Twitter is into your thing. And uh, yeah, so rate, comment, subscribe yet again. And I will talk to you all later and enjoy your cheat device.